Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I am prepping and packing for a content trip to Tulum, Mexico. I hope you enjoy. All right, today's the day I am finally packing for Tulum, Mexico. I leave tomorrow morning, so I am waiting until the last minute to pack. However, though, I did get my nails done yesterday. I got this like pretty nude color. It's very, very nude. It's almost clear. I also checked out Zara. Didn't really find anything specifically for Tulum, but I found these cute loafers. They were on sale for only $27. They also have them in black, so check out Zara. I also picked up this shirt, which I might bring to Tulum. It's Quickly, I'm going on an influencer trip to Tulum, Mexico, doing content shoots for brands. So I am bringing a bit more clothing than I normally would. And this is the bag that I'm bringing. I'm bringing a checked bag that will fit all of my things. First is the airplane outfit. I'm flying to Cancun, Mexico, which is like a four hour flight. So I want to be really comfortable. This is go-to favorite set from Spank that I will leave it linked down below. It's like the most cozy set. But once I land, it's going to be pretty hot. So I'm going to pack a pair of shorts and a linen long sleeve shirt just so I'm not like sweaty in a sweatshirt. I'm going to pack this to change into once I land. First, let's go over like the beachy casual stuff I'm bringing. I'm gonna bring this really cute set. Oh, and by the way, I've actually never been to Tulum, so I'm really excited to see what it's all about. But I think this set is just a cute casual look for like in the morning. Sets are also a thing on this trip because I'm basically bringing like all kinds of sets. It's a short set and it's very comfortable and flowy. Then I have this set. This is actually from Amazon. I talk about this all the time. I recently just got it in this like print, which I think kind of gives like a fun Tulum vibe long sleeve, long pants. I'm bringing this Amazon beach cover up. It's really cute with like any kind of swimsuit. Also gonna be bringing this cute linen top from Abercrombie, which you can pair with different things. I'm also gonna be bringing these Abercrombie white linen shorts, as well as a pair of denim shorts, a long sleeve linen beach cover up, which I think those cover ups will be really cute with all of the swimsuits that I'm bringing. And I forgot to mention, I'm also bringing a pair of white linen pants. And to go with that, my swimsuits are also going to be pretty neutral. I'm bringing a nude one-piece swimsuit. This is from Onaya. I'm also just bringing a two-piece white swimsuit. This one is from H&M. White somersault swimsuit, which I get so much wear out of. It's so flattering. I love that swimsuit. Bright blue swimsuit. I'm actually working with this swimsuit brand. They do bra size swimwear. Fits me perfectly and the color is gonna look great. And by the way, for prep, I also forgot to mention, I'm also gonna do self tanner with this B tan tonight. And the bra size swimwear also has it in this fun printed pattern. So that's all of the swimsuits that I'm bringing. I don't know if we're gonna have a lot of time to be like in the pool anyway. So already I brought like probably too much stuff, but let's move on to the athletic wear. Bringing this white sports bra, which would go well with these blue leggings, a pair of black leggings, um, bike shorts, and then this is like a cute little sports top, and this Spanx like sweater. I'm actually wearing it in black right now, but it's the perfect match to the legging, and I feel like that's a really cute look together. And then I'm also gonna bring some cute like dresses to wear at night. We're black crop top with this nude skirt. I feel like it's giving all of the Tulum vibe. Stunning white flowy dress with this beautiful rope. This black dress, I recently featured this dress in my Walmart try and haul video. This is definitely coming with me, Amazon, pink cutout dress. This color is just so pretty. I will be linking most of these items down below in the description box or just leave a comment. Pale bob dress. I think it's very flowy and would look really great in photos. Lastly, I think I'll just pack this. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it. That's all of the clothing I'm bringing. I'm also bringing underwear, socks, and everything. My trusted little packing cubes. These are from Amazon and I'm going to organize all of my packing by categories. This set from Amazon also has different sizes. So I think for my evening wear, I'll do the bigger one just because I think I have a lot more of that. All right, let's get these packed. underwear, socks, and like pajamas. Here I have my swimsuit, like daytime casual wear, evening dresses, and then this is athletic and like casual sets to take pictures in. So I'm happy that everything fit in these bad boys. Let's pack some jewelry. I always travel with this jewelry organizer. I love it so much. It's from Amazon. It packs completely flat. And inside I have some of like my favorite jewelry already.
favorite Amazon hoops. These are super affordable. Pretty dainty hoops. These are from Electric Picks. Evil Eye Necklace. I just love an evil eye. I think it's so pretty. The reason why I love this compartment, you can access it easy when you're on vacation. This necklace chain. And these earrings are like the most beautiful, dainty earrings. Lasp necklace. And I love the little detail on this one. This Amazon ring kind of adds kind of more bold look. Baby huggies in here. Like I like to put those in my second, third and fourth hole. It packs so flat and it is amazing for travel. Like that's all of my jewelry. Check into your hotel. You can hang this like on a bathroom thing or the wall somewhere there's a hook and you can just see your jewelry all at once. So I am obsessed. I'm gonna be packing these shoes. Are these not the perfect shoes for Tulum? Kanas kindly sent these over to me. I love like the rattan vibe. So cute. You can actually get these at Nordstrom. It's, it's a small company. All their shoes are made in Colombia, And I think I like them because I usually don't wear a lot of black flats and a lot of my outfits are black and I feel like these are a bit dressy and I love the detail of these. I feel like Tulum is a place where you don't want to wear heels or anything and I think flats are going to be fine because I feel like we're going to be at the beach a lot and then we are going to a cenote and we're doing like yoga so I'm going to be bringing these athletic shoes. I think three shoes is enough. Accessories. I'm going to be bringing this cute little handbag. I love the pearl detail and this is cute for like dinner or something if I'm not carrying a lot of stuff and if I need to carry a lot of stuff I'm going to be bringing it in this like tote bag. This is from Amazon bag that goes with everything. I'm also going to be bringing this hat. I mean like how perfect is this? I feel like it looks so good in pictures. Now let's move on to makeup and toiletries. This is where I'm gonna like try not to overpack. I have a big bin of toiletries that I keep so when I'm packing I can like go in here and find something. I have reusable containers in here so if I want to like pack something special. I'm gonna be using this bag. This is from Amazon. It does fit quite a bit inside and I'm bringing this because I'm going for a longer trip. So let's start off with hair. I'm bringing shampoo and conditioner, leave-in conditioner spray. And then I'm bringing this hair mask. This is individually sized in case my hair becomes like really dry and you can make your own. You can just pack it in a small container if you have a hair mask at home, dry shampoo. And I went on TSA website to make sure I could bring this. And they said if it's under three ounces with a cap, you can bring it on an airplane. So just clarifying, unless they go through my bag and take it out. <laughs> Deodorant. I always use my Bioderma. I love this stuff, but I usually take it in this smaller container and this is kind of like running out. So I'm just gonna refill it. And I love like depotting products. You don't need to bring this huge thing. Like, like this has lasted me so long. So I like to bring what I need. Which reminds me, I need to get more of this stuff. Makeup remover, check. Face wash, I depotted this. This is like a CeraVe. I'm also gonna be bringing this little pad. This kind of like takes off makeup. I feel so bad like taking off my mascara on their like white towels. So I usually bring one of those guys. I wear contacts, a few pairs of contact, toothbrush, toothpaste, pressed white strips. I feel like if I have time, I can whiten my teeth a little bit. Body wash, body lotion. I always like to bring some body oil. This is the NUX body oil and I have enough. I like to mix this with some like eyeshadow glitter to make your body like really glowy. Face sunscreen. This is from Lancer and it's kind of like leaking a bit. So just to make sure I like to put it in a plastic bag. I'm also going to pack this La Luz for glowy skin. I recently showed this a before and after on my TikTok and this makes your leg glow like crazy. So this is definitely coming with me. Any photos will look amazing with it. going to pack some sunscreen. I'm going to pack this essence. This is by Natura Bizet. I put it in the smaller one. This just like makes my skin perfect for makeup. It's like a makeup prep. And then at Night Moisturizer. This is the Dr. Jart Sisa Pair. It basically helps with redness and it is like a gel formula. So I really like this for like warm trips where you want your skin to be moisturized, but it's not too heavy on the skin. So I've been loving this stuff and I love the packaging for travel because once you use it, it gets smaller and smaller. Hyaluronic Acid Bondi Sand, just to make my skin a bit more plumped. A small size Drunk Elephant Serum. Laundry detergent, just in case something gets dirty, I can quickly hand wash it. I feel like that's something to always pack. Lumify eye drop. This like makes your eyes really white. Bring a little sheet mask, facial roller, and it's like travel size. So I feel like this might help with the like, puffiness in the morning. Another underrated product I feel like is a shower cap just to have my hair last longer. And the ones that they give you at the hotels usually don't work that well. I almost packed without my perfume. Not bringing this full size. I'm going to depot it in one of these. This is from Amazon. You just take off the cap. I also listed it in my Amazon travel must-haves video. I can leave that linked. Pump in the fragrance. Have your fragrance 
fragrance on the go cotton pads and then i've been loving using this for like my shower it's just a little exfoliating mitt on this side soft and this one is like a bit harder just to like get dead skin cells off and i got this at teacher back so they and we have my makeup in this cute little amazon bag i, I put all of like my brushes in this handy brush container i also like to keep my like small brushes in here so you know how hard it is to find in a makeup bag this little organizer keeps everything in one place palette that i've been using lately it's made up with all these like really pretty neutral colors and i'm also using this beauty blender holder which is great to keep it clean and i have all of my basics my foundations concealer this nars laguna bronzer which is so pretty laura mercier setting cream just to keep everything set because it's gonna be really warm and humid i also have a max studio fix foundation just to keep everything not so oily i love also this nars eyeshadow set these colors are just stunning for like an evening smoky eye and i've been mixing this little color pop sparkle like look at that it shines so much let me swatch it it's just look how cool it is mascara laura mercier blush <laughs> And there we go, all of the makeup in this cute little bag. I always forget hair stuff for some reason. I am bringing just a curling iron and my brush. I'm not really good at hair. Moment of truth, let's pack the bag. All right, so I have my little luggage stand. The goal here is to not have the suitcase fully packed. By the way, I got this stand off of Craigslist and it's so helpful. Honestly, if you pack a lot, it's so nice to have a place to pack without putting on your bed. The bag is packed. This makes me nervous because I'm going on a full month trip to Europe this summer. This is just one week in Tulum and the bag is completely full. It's not that I like to overpack. It's just sometimes you don't know what you want to wear. Everything did fit. There's not a lot of extra room, which kind of concerns me. I might have to bring like a little duffel. So I'm gonna weigh it with this travel luggage scale and hopefully we're under 50 pounds. 45.4 baby. We're going to Tulum, it's five pounds underweight. And then I just have my carry-on bag. I've been loving this bag, by the way. It is from Amazon. I like to bring my laptop and there's a separate compartment for your laptop in here. It's a content trip, so I'm bringing my hard drive and card reader. I also have to put my makeup in this bag because it didn't fit in my other bag. My camera along with me. Of course, we need a passport. And I always like to bring this little bag just to wear along my body and I put my passport in here and I can find things easier in my bag if I do it like this. And PSA everyone, bring your own pen on your plane, especially through International because they give you those custom forms. I bet you someone's gonna ask me on the plane to borrow their pen. Pen and paper just to like, if I need to write something down. Noise canceling headphones. And then this is cool. This is just like an outlet extender. So depending on how many outlets there are in the room, if there's not many, this just plugs into one and then you can have three more plugs so you can charge everything in one place. And of course my cell phone and then all of my like computer chargers, my cell phone charger and things like that. And then I don't think I'm gonna bring a book, but this is the book that I picked up. It's called Wrong Place, Wrong Time. I don't think I have time to read, honestly. I need to attach my hat to this. I have a cute little hat clip so I don't have to wear the hat on the plane. Oh, I am also going to be bringing my vlog camera. I am vlogging this trip. If you wanna see what I get up to, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see what I do in Tulum. It's not gonna be like my normal travel type videos because I'm there on a work trip. So I am going to see what I get up to, but I'm going to be bringing a vlog camera along to just get some fun content. There goes my packing for Tulum. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. With that, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in Tulum. Bye.